What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kitty Cat. I haven't done a get ready with me in a really long time. I'm going somewhere today. It's Easter today. Spring is in the air. I'm feeling the spring vibration. So I want to show y'all my outfit. I got an outfit for Sweet Potato. It's going to be a good day. I am always so impressed with how people do get ready with me, like when they're talking, because I feel like I can't really do both. So I'm going to do the best I can. What's been up, y'all? My birthday is coming. My birthday will be Thursday. April 21st, my favorite day of the week. So I'm excited about that. It's probably gonna be a really chill day. And then I'll do something with my friends like over the weekend, probably. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I have two jobs now. So I'm gonna work only one of my jobs and then I'm gonna not go to the other one. My sister and I are gonna do lunch. The day is really open. So I'm still kind of like not sure what I want to do. The opportunities are endless. You know, I'm a Taurus. So all I really want to do for my birthday is like, be comfortable, eat good food, look pretty. That's all I care about on my birthday, okay? <laughs> I already ordered my outfit for dinner with my friends, so that should be coming this week. I was dead set on a pink dress. I was like, I really want a pink dress. So hopefully it gets here in time. If it doesn't, I have other things I can wear, but either way. This will be the first year that I feel kind of excited about my birthday again. I had a death in the family like a few days before my birthday. My One of my grandmothers passed away a few years ago. So when my birthday came around, I still kind of felt like I was grieving still. Of course, I'm still grieving. I think like, when you lose people you love, like you never, you never like, I don't know, like it still stays with you and I miss her so much. I'm just kind of doing the best I can and like, trying to be in a better mood this year and just really like live for myself and have a a birthday that is happy for me i'll be you know turning 28 so i'm really excited for like what i'm gonna learn and like what things are gonna be like 27 it was an interesting ride i, I really just had to be like honest with myself and like what i want from life and I was in a job last year that really just wasn't bringing me happiness. I was just not in a good place with my mental health. Like that job was just like not a good fit for me. I'm just a little too empathetic with people. And so um, it, it was just really killing me to not see people like go for their dreams. It was really killing me. So I like basically decided to take a really big risk and I went into a new industry that I've never worked in before, but I've always been interested in it so I got an opportunity and I decided to finally just go for it. I've been spending like the last eight months really working hard to learn how to do this this new this new skill. I don't know why I'm so mysterious why don't I not want to say like what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm so shy. Basically we'll just say it's the mortgage industry. Really loving it. I've always had an interest in like real estate in general. Really really happy that I got an opportunity to like start start doing that so I've been that's really what I've been up to work-wise. Cost of living, especially, you know, in Colorado, it's it's really high. I did decide to get a second job, so I've, I've been working two jobs. One's like a, a part-time one, um, and that one is with kids. I've, I've been liking that one a lot. I'm really surprised by that one. I've really just had to go out of my comfort zone a lot in the past year, which as a Taurus, I'm an astrology. I live for astrology and I talk about it a lot. Just as a Taurus, I'm like I love comfort. I, I'm a typical Taurus, like I don't like change. There has been a lot of change this year that I've been just having to like get used to. Oh, I don't like how that came out. I've realized that in the last like few years that I've kind of like stepped away from doing YouTube, I have realized that I really do miss it. And although I do like making TikToks and, and all of that, I do just miss doing YouTube. Like my favorite part of YouTube is editing. I I can edit like for hours and hours and hours and like not get tired of it. And I just missed having things to edit, but it's like I have to film to edit. So here we are. We're filming so I can edit something later. Yeah, what have y'all been up to? Let me know down in the comments below. What's new with you? We haven't been like face to face like this in a while. My lease is almost up here, which is so bittersweet. I've been living here with my best friend since 2019. And it's like, we literally lived through a pandemonium together. Okay. We've made a lot of memories here. And so that's going to be sad to like move forward from this chapter of our life. When this lease is up, I'll be living with my sister. That will be very interesting. She's an Aquarius <laughs> and she's already told me like Catherine because my family, they call me Catherine, especially my sister when she's serious about something. She'll say Catherine. I better not see any dishes in the sink. And I was like, dang girl, like, I mean, I'm not dirty, but like, 
sometimes I have a terrible time management skills and I'm always running late to stuff. So I might not have time to do a quick dish before I'm out, you know? Or hopefully we can just find a place with a dishwasher. Like, it's 2022, baby. Like, why are we doing dishes? Did y'all have dishwashers growing up? I'm sure y'all, I'm sure most people did. For some reason, my parents, like, they didn't believe in dishwashers. And so I had to literally wash dishes all the time growing up. So, I mean, a dishwasher would be great. That would be a great level up for my life. And we'll just kind of like see how things go from there, really. You know, like just kind of taking life like day by day. I just think it's really important to surround yourself with people who love you. A human connection. So, I think I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera. Just because... I don't want this video to be like super long. I still want to show y'all my outfit and I need to do my nails. So I think I might just do mascara today. Um, speaking of mascara, this is my favorite one. I have not had a favorite drugstore mascara in a long time. Like I have been loving this Sky High by maybe for like a year it is just like I, I can't live without it like you know on tiktok let me say i don't know who needs to hear this but i don't know who needs to hear this but you should try sky high maybelline mascara okay so my makeup is pretty much done now i just wanted something really simple I just haven't done my lips yet but i'm just gonna do a little lip plumper now so that way um, when i'm ready don't be I want my lips plump. I'm gonna start my nails because I mean I need Easter nails, okay? So I think I'm gonna do with these ones. These ones are by Kiss. They're Vogueish Fantasy size L for long. The next time y'all see me, I'm gonna have nails on, and I'm gonna show y'all Sweet Potatoes outfit and my outfit. And let's go. All right, I'm almost done. So I did my nails. Even though they say that they're long on the box, they're not really long. I feel like these are pretty short. Pink with a little bit of silver glitter and some like ombre cloud type thing. This is the dress. Can we hear a little commotion for the dress? Okay. Angle one, baby. Okay, two, three, baby. Angle three. Angle four. So you know it's got the ruching. We all love some ruching. Okay, I feel like if you're past 25, we all love a little ruching. I like that this dress, like you, it goes past my knees. Cause I feel like with the hips sometimes, it's really hard to keep things from riding up. I'm wearing some Savage X Fenty boxers to keep everything in place. This is the jewelry I decided to go with. I'm just wearing this tennis bracelet from Pandora. It's a rose gold. This ring is also from Pandora. So I'm almost ready. I have been sweating so much, like I almost don't feel comfortable. I'm just gonna do a little bit of very sexy. It kinda got in my hair. Ooh. This is the purse I'm gonna do for tonight. These are the heels I'm gonna wear, so I'm gonna throw these on, get my blazer on, and we're gonna go. Okay, y'all, I am just about ready to head out. This cute sleeves. Don't forget, life is too short to be anything but fabulous, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.